Pat, you recently have been talking a lot about your selection in Alexandria, uh, Louisiana for your processing facility. Can you provide us with an update? Uh, yeah, by all means, uh, Tracy. On April the 6th, we had a press release that talked about the final selection of our building in Alexandria. Uh, that was not an easy process to get to that one building. Um, we had to look at, uh, we started with 20 buildings in Louisiana. We actually started with a broader look at the Gulf Coast, but then we ended up in Louisiana. And then we narrowed from 20 buildings down to actually three. And then in early um, this year, we decided to get it down to one. And we announced on April 6th that it was Alexandria, but it was based on real good fundamentals, which are what's the inbound freight like? What's the chemical trade like? What's the economic people profile like? Uh, you know, all the things that go into making a really smart decision. What, what's the university support? Uh, what are the supply chain supports that go around that particular area? And Alexandria had all of those, not the least of which is we looked at uh, in discussing with the Power Corp and natural gas companies, let's look at floodplains, let's look at hurricanes, let's look at what happens in Louisiana and make sure that we're actually in an area that we feel comfortable will not disrupt our operations ongoing, uh, you know, day in, day out throughout the year. And of course, this is a real competitive aspect for UCOR. I mean, can you explain a little bit more to investors out there? I mean, everybody's talking about the decarbonizing of the economy. Everyone wants to be involved in the rare earth supply chain, but they don't necessarily appreciate how many stages, how many steps it takes to actually take a company from exploration to production. Can you discuss for investor Intel members out there interested and understanding this more, why UCOR is so competitive and what stage in the supply chain you're actually stepping into? Yeah, great question, Tracy. The, uh, when you look at the supply nodes of the, um, the, the, the rare supply chain, you know, it starts upstream with your mining and your resource. And the miners have a really um, important job to do. They've got to get the, you know, the right minerals out of the ground. They've got to get into a form that's actually usable for mid-market uh, processing. And that's usually in the form of a chemical concentrate. And uh, <clears throat> once they get into that chemical concentrate stage, it then gets very, um, very difficult. Now you've got to separate, the, uh, separate out the actual individual rare earth oxides that can be used for things like permanent magnets, first the metal, metals and alloys, and then permanent magnets downstream. So UCOR is in the mid-market. They're in that mid-market where we're separating out the rare earth oxides. That's the real, um, in our opinion, difficult part of the job. And that does not exist in North America today. And so we've, we've taken on that challenge using a tech known as Rapid SX. It's got all the, um, uh, the right markers for success in a westernized world. By that, I mean really good OPEX, uh, CAPEX that's very reasonable so you can invest and get the job done versus conventional solvent extraction that is. Lower power rates, less chemical use, um, you know, ESG branding throughout, recycled acids, all the things that go into making a really smart westernized processing in that mid-market. And, and there's a lot of margin in that mid-market. There's a lot of... Uh, upside opportunity and, and getting to revenue and positive cash flow, that's a great spot to do it when you have the right tech to be there. We've been talking about this for years at Investor Intel about how rare earths aren't just like a resource or a mining play, but they're actually a technology story. And UCOR is a technology company. Can you tell us a little bit more about your competitive technology, which makes you stand apart from the rest of the from the rest of the sector. Yeah, certainly. Uh, yeah, UCOR has become a technology company of late. And um, the reason that we've, we've taken that, that um, direction forward is that um, it, it's, it's difficult, yes, but it's also very rewarding when you get the job done. And from a, um, um, from a processing separation to oxides are used in the metals and the alloys that go into the magnets and the permanent magnets are the things that to, you know, go into the generators for the wind turbines, the electric motors for electric vehicles, the smartphones, the, uh, the micro motors, uh, th those magnets are key. But the, the seeds of uh, technology that make that happen, the seeds of technology, the Japanese uh, like to call it, are these rare earth oxides. And so the technology that we have known as Rapid SX um, fundamentally comes down to more throughput per square foot, uh, quicker processing time, the ability to turn the system off and on, um, which allows you to turn a plant off at five o'clock on a Friday and turn it back on at 5 a.m. on a Monday. 
And, and I say that with respect to solvent extraction, which has very slow processing time, a lot of work in process inventory, uh, not a quick throughput, and football fields of mixer settlers, as opposed to a column tech that we have, which can achieve the same job with more throughput in about 30% of the space. So very westernized with less chemicals, less power, smart way to be in that mid-market uh, as you take on the controlling grip that China has on the mid-market. But, but forget that for a second. Let's just westernize it and do it right for North America. Let, let's, let's do it the way a North American company would do it. Well, thank you so much, Pat. And of course, Pat Ryan will be a keynote speaker at the upcoming Critical Minerals Institute Summit, June 14th and 15th. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Tracy.